Today's devotion comes to us from Matthew chapter 1, verses 18 through 21. Now the birth of Jesus the Messiah took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she found to be the child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from sins. Last night, I sat down to write this devotion, and nothing was coming to me. I couldn't think of what direction to go with this text, and I really couldn't hear what God was trying to tell me. This morning, I co-led our Grief Share um, support group at church. We held a workshop on surviving the holidays. Towards the end of the video, in big letters, right across the screen, was Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. After the video was over, we circled up for discussion. Many of the group members commented that the message that followed really struck a chord with them. I laughed and told them about my struggles writing this devotion and how it popped up on the screen right before me. Most importantly, it was able to help the grievers that assembled today. God's little winks and signs and nudges never cease to amaze me. The material I'm about to write is taken from Grief Share. Grief Share is a Christian grief group that meets here at Emmanuel every Wednesday from 9 to 11. We welcome every kind of griever from every stage of grief at any time. It's become such a safe place for us to share our burdens and comfort each other. We certainly welcome anyone to attend with us um, if you are going through grief and loss right now, please consider joining us at Grief Share on Wednesday mornings from 9 to 11. We would be really glad to have you. The narrator in our Grief Share video said something. He said, Christmas is really a holiday for the sufferers. We have taken Christmas and made it a happy celebration, but I think in all that we've missed the point. The point is, of what Jesus is doing in that manger. God told Joseph that he was to name this baby Jesus because he's going to save people from their sins. God saw the suffering on earth and it was everywhere and he said that's enough. I'm going to bring a savior in the form of a baby that will end oppression. He will deliver justice. He will come to rescue them from their sins. Jesus being born in that stable was God saying, game on. I'm doing something about this, and Jesus is coming to end the suffering for my people. It's a revolution. Someone is coming to end our suffering and to save us, so that we will come to know a place where there will be no more tears, no more pain, no more suffering. We will be there. Our loved ones will be there. We can start to bring heaven to earth to help other people in their suffering because we know we are forgiven children of God and we can bring comfort and healing to those around us right now. I don't think I'll look at Christmas the same way again. Grief and suffering are dark places, scary places. Some say it's the closest you can get to hell while being on earth. This baby to be named Jesus came to battle that, to end it. Jesus came to not only save you from sin, but to heal your heart and the pain of this world. Because of him, one day there will be no more suffering. Even now, in the middle of your suffering, Jesus wants to be part of your life, to comfort you and to help heal you. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death, or mourning, or crying, or pain, 
for the old order of things has passed away. And we are told that in Revelation. All because of that baby in the manger to be named Jesus. Jesus.